This time we're going to look at two small words, kill and time. Um, I started with kill just because the ki combination is a little, a little different than some. So there's a couple ways we could do the ki combination. We're going to look at this first before we get into the simple combo. So you can connect the ki like so. The other thing you could do is reduce out the word line. So as you can see, there's just two strokes in here like this. And then put that inside of the i cup like so. Remember, the word line is not necessary for many of these letters. A lot of letters have this incorporated into the design, just like the L, too. That We'll see that in a minute. So, if we use that version, I just got that out of the way quickly because I really don't like using this K at the beginning. So, K, I, L, L. I kind of like this kill. It's a little simple, but it might be able to see some, some killing somewhere in here. There's another option we got here. I, L can be combined to be, to be this, and then you can continue the word out of here. You can see the L. You could even put two L's there, like so. You can see the L's are inside of the I cup, and they're after the I, because the I cup catches the word, it's the first red, and then you proceed to the next top, bottom, top to bottom, left to right out in, in proper sequence. So, we can go like this. That should actually be kept straighter, straighter than curved, but I like a little curve in it, because it gives it a little more feeling. So, here's the word kill. Not bad. Time. Now, the simplest possible way to combine them would be T-I-M-E. Time, I'm a fan of. It kind of looks like a happy face. Anything T-I tends to create these happy face style shapes, which can be fun or can seem a bit childish at times. So sometimes you want to get rid of that. Now, we've got some options. Remember, first of all, we could just turn the T like so, and all of a sudden we lose that happy face feeling to it. The second thing we can do is we can use the other version of the T. The T can be drawn like so, or it can be a reverse S. Specifically, ST or TS. But we can use that version of the T whenever necessary. And it also connects with an I cup in a nice way, because this is the T and this is the I. The I cup catches a T. So it creates this kind of evenly shaped thing. Some people might be curious, is this an I cup or no? No, it's clearly not an I cup. It's on its side. It's, it's catching a letter that's going vertical, and it's not catching anything above it. If an I started a word, it should be empty. It should not have something in it if it starts the word. So, and that would be, leave us with that. We could then collect the E, time. Kind of like this version. This one looks a little bit more like time to me, maybe. The smiley face version looks a little kitty. so. Time. We could also try to just pull that off to the side there. We don't actually have to bring it down. Time. So we've got a few options here. Now let's put them together and draw kill time. And then we'll go... Kill time. Not bad. Now we have to be careful. This could be an S, but I think it's pretty clear we're dealing with a, a time here. There's not really any other words or combinations it could be. Just be careful. Remember, the S is this curve here. So if we were, if, if we actually had the word, if there was a word, T-I-M-S-E. I don't even know if that is a word. It might be. T-I-M-S-E. You see, you add that extra curve to make clear that this, cur this curl is an S. Um, when you're leading out of the M, it doesn't matter if this looks like it could be an S or not. It's not distinctly indicated like so. So there is no S here. 